Okay, so uh, I'm here again, Chris Aiken for the Downtown Business Association. I'm really very happy to welcome Angela Watts. Angela Watts has slide handboards here in San Clemente, and uh, welcome, Angela. Hi, am, thanks for having me. <laughs> happy to have you. Um, can you uh, uh, tell us a little bit about your product? Sure. So, um, side hand boards are basically miniature surfboards that fit on your hand. I have one here, Charlotte, so I'll show you. So, they're for body surfing. So, um, it straps on your hand and it gives you extra speed and lift while you're surfing the wave. So if you um, body surf or ever tried to body surf and you're not a great swimmer, the board will give you that extra lift and actually carry you down the wave. So you actually don't have to be like a great swimmer. Um, it gives that extra bit to help you actually surf the wave. Um, yeah, so it's a lot of fun. And we have multiple different sizes and shapes for different uh, wave types and ability levels too. Well, I've seen them. I have seen them out there. I, I'll, I'll tell you, Angela, I have not used them myself. So what, tell me what, what makes uh, your handboard so unique? So we've been around for now 10 years. Um, you know, handboarding um, or hand planing has been around probably before actually stand up surfing. So um, it's, no, it's nothing new. Um, like Polynesians used to would use like wood pieces, um, like the Hawaiians will use flip-flops, people use frisbees or food trays. Um, so actually my husband, who's South African, who's behind me here with his headphones on working, um, he surf traveled around the world and he used to make them. Um, and it was always his dream to, you know, create a handboarding company that was specific to this because when he surf traveled all the surfers had these you know makeshift body surfing boards but there was no like real brand um centered around the sport so that's you know where how kind of it started but what makes us unique is really no one has really focused on just body surfing and so we've been around 10 years now and when we started the company, you couldn't go in a surf shop and buy a handboard. Like you really just couldn't find one. Um, I like to think that we pioneered it into making it what the sport is and helping um, educate people on it. Um, and then we also, we have just different shapes and sizes um, and not just, you know, one and you don't have to be, you know, we have like this Grom board, which is foam, um, comes with a hand strap. And this one is you like, it's basically like a long board for surfing, like body surfing. It makes it easy for anyone to use. So I'm not a good swimmer or surfer, but I use this and I can ride the wave in like long and have a good time. Well, that's great. So do you, I mean, is, is there a target market or, is it, or do you have things for everybody? So we have things for everyone, um, specifically families. You know, when we first started, we really targeted um, surfers. And that's, you know, that's what really made us cool and, you know, it got us going. But as we found, as we grew, we really started targeting um, the younger generation, finding that um, they're more open to trying new things. Um, you know, to the, you know, the older surfers usually don't like to try, you know, they're set on their, their surfboards and their ways, um, where the younger generation, um, like the junior guards and surf camps, um, you know, they teach to use what, you know, what the waves are. And sometimes when you're stand up surfing, the waves really aren't great for stand up surfing. You should be using, you should be body surfing. You'll catch more waves that way. So. We like to, you know, go after everyone. Um, and also, um, they, you know, just handboarding is easier. You don't have to stand up on a board. So it's just fun for the whole family. Perfect. Well, I think I, so uh, a favorite show of my son, I already told you, is Shark Tank. And I, I know you were on Shark Tank. Can you maybe tell me about that experience and, and how, it, uh, how it affected your business? Yeah, so we actually, one of our customers, when we first started, um, 
he was like, you guys have to go on Shark Tank. And I had never even seen it. Um, neither had Steve. And he's like, I have a, um, a friend who's in casting. And we're like, okay, we'll apply. This is like back in 2013. Um, so seven years ago. And, you know, we applied, but we didn't think anything of it. I literally hadn't seen the show before. And then um, the next year we applied again, um, got closer through casting, but didn't get it. And then the third year we actually really needed the money um, to grow the business. So um, we somehow luckily got through in 2015 and it I mean, it grew our business like tenfold from being on the show. Um, it changed. Obviously, we um, we were able to get investment um, from Mark Cuban and Ashton Kutcher, and that um, that just changed our you know our whole future. That's great. I I know uh, you know uh, the pandemic affected all you know obviously all the businesses and. In, in downtown and, and here in Sacramento and elsewhere. Uh, how has it, how has the COVID affected your business and how, how have you uh, adapted to it? So COVID, our biggest um, effect that it's done on our business is that, you know, we were in Dick's Sporting Goods, they order from us every year. Um, and then also the retail surf shops. Um, those purchase orders have all been lost. Um, so, we have a lot of excess inventory that we lost from there, but so what we've been doing is just focusing online and on Amazon um, and our website. Um, also, I really wanted to do more events this summer. We usually do um, a charity event uh, competition here at T Street and that's been canceled. So that's a bummer. Um, we may move it to August though, we'll see. Um, so it's just affecting and just moving more of the conversations online um, and just supporting everyone that way. But well, all right, so uh, where, where, where all can we find out online? Is, is Amazon your, your, your main place of finding on, online, Angela? Or? We prefer on our website because Amazon does take a hefty percentage. Uh, but some people just prefer purchasing on Amazon, but we prefer our website. We do have our office here in Old Town Plaza. Um, so it's our showroom. People can come. We usually, because of the coronavirus, we just prefer to call or email first. And so we know you're coming. Um, and, you know, you can come purchase a board in the shop as well. But and what, and our, sorry, what's your website? Ahead. Our what? website is slide, S L Y D E, handboards.com. Perfect. And I know you, I, I, I know you guys at Slide have been very um, uh, community minded. Can you, can you tell me more about that here in San Francisco? Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, so um, since we started, we've always been, you know, doing beach cleanups and creating a base of a community of people just that love the, the water. Um, so we initially started just doing events with the junior guards, doing beach cleanups. Um, and then here in St. Clemente, we have our annual charity competition that we raise money for a walk on water, which is surf therapy for kids with special needs. Um, we've been in St. Clemente now for four years. Um, so, and I have a three-year-old, so this is my year to, um, she just started preschool, so this is my year. I was very excited to you know, do more events in town and was signing up for those for slide, but that got put on the back burner, but which is why I'm excited to still be a part of the Downtown Business Association and just be involved however I can. And so your goal is kind of get back to face-to-face uh, -to -face through these events. Mm -hmm. that, uh, can you tell me, is that kind of what you're, what, what you're looking for in the future? Yes, yeah, so, um, we find that once people try our boards, they love them. And the, the hard thing is just getting people on board. So it takes a lot of effort, you know, when you're growing a new sport and a new um, brand. So just, it's just getting people on boards and that's, you know, got 
we got sidetracked with the three-year-olds um, from not being able to do as many events as we could before. Uh, but now that she's older, that's been really our main goal is to do, um, you know, meetups on the beach. Um, we used to do um, T Street Tuesdays last summer when it's blackballed. We'd, you know, go down with our boards and do a meetup with all our um, team riders and followers to just get out in the water together. So we hope to do that again this summer. Um, yeah, so we just want to get more face to face and be involved in and let people know that we're actually we're here. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Well, thank you, Angela. We really appreciate it and uh, joining us. And uh, San Clemente, please uh, uh, support Slide Handboards and go see them at the old. It's the old City Plaza, or is it? It's the old town. Oh, it's funny because one side says old. City Plaza, the other side says Old Town Plaza. Yeah, I, I get confused myself. So please go, <laughs> please go see Angela there and slide handboards. And, and, and Angela, thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate it. Thank you. Here.